Hey and welcome back to my channel, I'm Daniel and today we are going to explore Taide. Taide is the biggest mountain here on Tenerife with over 3,000 meters and if you have a nice day you can actually see all seven Canarian islands. So let's see if we are lucky today. <laughs> This morning I had to bring Julian to the airport because our time here in Tenerife is slowly coming to an end. Nils and I have two more days then we have to leave as well. I didn't have any sleep last night because I was editing the video from yesterday. It was a lot of fun but I worked until 6 a.m. The most important thing... Coffee. Oh, the last one. It's the last the one. The last Intenso. You drive, I sleep. Okay. And... Uh, okay. <laughs> We decided that Julian is driving to the airport and I can sleep a little bit in the car. This is the day he has to leave. I, I, so I don't want to go back home. It's cold there, I've been told. It's really cold. And he is awesome. Don't leave. No. Now he has to go. No. Don't go. <laughs> oh man. Okay, was a really cool time. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal irgendwo anders auf der Welt. Mount Taide, or in Spanish, El Taide, Pico del Taide, which basically means the peak of Taide, is a volcano on Tenerife, one of the seven Canarian islands from Spain. Its summit is around 3,718 meters or 12,189 feet. It is the highest point of Spain and also the highest point above sea level in all islands of the Atlantic. took the first stop and this is the Museo Juan Evora. Juan Museo Juan Evora. I just thought there was a drone, but this is a lot of bikes. There's a lot of bikes on the road here. That's for free? Yes. Yeah. We are here now. How do you pronounce this one? Boca de Tause. So in 100 meters there is a junction and most people go straight ahead for visiting the central area of the park. If you turn left, that's the way to Chio Los Gigantes. It's indicated to the western part of the island. This part is short but very beautiful. There are two... Where is the gondola? There. I arrived at the cable car. I think it's around $27, but I will see, or 27 euros. I will see there how much I have to pay. Also take another jacket because it's already getting colder and I have to go another 1,000 meters up. So I'm at 2,000, roughly 2,200 or something at the moment. The landscape is stunning, I have to say. It's really stunning and it reminds me a lot on Bolivia. I have been in Bolivia in 2013 and also on the United States, of course. So this is the cable car, this is the one I will drive and see if I can survive. Hola. One ticket. Ah, gracias. At the cable car you will find a restaurant where you can have some snacks, coffee and some drinks and there's also a souvenir shop. But I also recommend you that you come early in the day because on days like today there are a lot of people so you can minimize the waiting time for the gondola. Oh, 
So now I'm on top of this volcano and the first thing, of course, the view is amazing, but the second thing is the air. I can immediately feel it when I just walk around and go a little bit up the stairs because 3000 meters, the air is thinner than downstairs. I think you can even hear that on my voice. <laughs> and there's ice and snow. So what you definitely will notice when you come up here is the smell of silver, obviously. <laughs> but I haven't smelled this in a long time. I think the last time was actually, let me remember, that was in New Zealand. So the thing is you can actually go up the top as well, but you need a permit and you have to take this permit, apply for it two months earlier because only 200 people per day are allowed on top of the volcano. Apply online. It's super simple and it doesn't cost you anything, you just have to apply in advance. The landscape looks like you are on Mars. So not every day the cable car is open. You have to pick a day where the view is good and where it's not too cloudy. But a day like today is perfect. Even if I'm tired because I was awake all night last night editing the video from yesterday, but I'm glad I actually made it today because tomorrow is the last day we are in Tenerife and then we are going back to Germany. Traduction. Traduction. Those guys are amazing. They just took a picture. What's your names? ¿Qué, qué nombres? Maribel. Giovanni. Hey, buen día. Buen día. <laughs> bye bye. Adiós. If you want, you can also just pay half the price, go up with the cable car and then just walk all the way down. There is actually two hikes that you can take all the way down. Can you see this one? This is the other island. Let me see if we count. One, two, and can you see this one behind this one? There's another one. That's number three. We found number four. So it seems that one of the hikes is closed at the moment. So definitely research which of the hikes are open or not. I want to see the other side where you can look into the north of Tenerife. The north is the part where we were living the last four weeks. I met those cool guys, they were jumping here in front of the mountain and they recorded me, so I'm yeah. so grateful. What's your names, guys? Cristina. Cristina? Alejandro. And Alejandro, where are you guys from? Sí. De donde eres? Eh, de España. De, de Málaga. 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 Ah, Málaga. Thank you. Yeah. Nice, enjoy your day. Such cool guys that I just met, so lovely. And the thing is, when you are traveling alone, how can you make a picture from yourself? Just go out and ask the people. They are always helping you, you can help them. And I think I lost my ticket. I'm not sure if I need my ticket to come down, if I can make it down without my ticket, or if I have to buy another one. That's kind of stupid. That's typical Daniel. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I think I found number six. And number six is basically, that's Gran Canaria. And behind here, there is something. I I can see it with my eyes. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can you see this? Number six. Like I said in the video yesterday, if you are lucky and you come up here, there are days where you can see all seven Canarian islands. This one included, I'm standing on. Hey, it's me again from the future. I actually did a mistake. I missed one island, Lanzarote. I counted Gran Canaria twice and Lanzarote is basically all in the north. And if I would look a little bit more closer, I could have seen it as well. Let's go back to my past. I'm super happy today because we got the perfect timing. It's not cold, it's perfect. You have to definitely come here when you have this kind of weather like today. You will love it. <laughs> Oh, 
was working, I came back down even that I lost my ticket. But then I came up with this idea. I made a picture when I started this trip from the ticket and I just showed him the ticket in my camera and his was fine. In many many top highlight lists this place is number one and now I can understand why because this place is just incredible. If you like my video hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bang bang, you know what to do. I'm Daniel, we see us tomorrow, bye.